frustrated reading history of Rome. <laughs> <laughs> what a shame! No, I have why. to read about the history of this city, of my city. <laughs> no, but it's okay. I mean, this city is so old. Obviously, yeah. you can't know everything. Yeah. Guys, we are in front of the Teatro Marcello. It's a structure very similar to the Colosseum, eh? Yeah, it reminds a lot about Colosseum, especially for this kind of arts, you know, that yeah. you can see, it's really similar. Yeah, and it's also one of the oldest buildings exactly, in Rome. Exactly, because everything started around 13 before Christ, you know, wow. it's impossible, it's insane not to think about this. And um, everything started with Julius Caesar, yeah. when uh, he decided to build in this place, this kind of theater. And with time, obviously after Caesar, uh, it was accomplished, was finished by Augusto, ah, Imperatore yeah. Augusto. Yeah. Wow, it is a beautiful structure. Questa è Piazza del Campidoglio, where are, there is all the administration of the city. Che bellezza! It's magnificent, simply. And it's hot. It's really hot. <laughs> Guys, it's crazy. You're recording? Yeah. It's really crazy because these past days have been really rainy windy extremely windy cold sometimes and now it's summertime exactly wow i have to take off my coat yeah eccoli la musica capitolini we've been walking around rome for i don't know i'm uh, how many weeks <laughs> <laughs> and you know it's kind of hilarious because we are here to know all the roots of the city, exactly. you know? We've been walking around through modern spaces, some old, you know, but we don't really know more about the roots of the city itself. So yeah, it's time Where to do it. Starts, yeah. yeah, so it's time to do it. Here we are, guys, with the main symbol of the city of Rome, no? Because there is a huge legend behind. There are so many different legend, legends. There is not just one in particular. But everything now starts from 750, around 750 before Christ. And uh, the legend talk about this girl that had these two child, these two twins. And she gave the name of uh, Romulo and Remo. But they were kind of abandoned in this area. And uh, this wolf coming down from Colle Palatino, that is right there, no, kind of hill. Uh, the legend says that this wolf um, found these two twins and they grow up thanks to the wolf, you know, and the symbol of Rome starts like this, like this right now, actually, you know, to give the idea where everything started, you know. Especially, the legend says that who decided, you know, to build the city was Romolo in particular. The city of Rome. The city of Rome. Yeah, and there is the wolf. Feeding the two children. Exactly.
feel after this experience in the Museo Capitolino? A little like this. Yeah, why? Compared to the deepest roots of the city, through the years, yeah. through the millenniums. I am so fascinated by the fact that painting and all the sculpture are telling you the stories, you know, what happened there at the time, you know? through, just by image. And they did it purposely, you know? thinking about the future where we are right now. You know? I love this, because you know? they, they made that to tell the story for the future generation. I love this. Yeah. But they never knew who they were telling these stories to. No? Exactly. Yeah. Just to, to put a sign of yeah. the history. We were here. This is what happened here in this moment. Yeah. Yeah, especially because always the purpose of art and art in general, no sculptures, paintings, um, I don't know, literature, everything has been to tell the story about the time back then about society about how everything functioned so to me this is really interesting because first of all because I, I come from the occident now from the, the other part of the world the new world and to me this is really staggering because the roots of the life in the occident come from here from Rome many many adaptations have been made for, from all the things that the Romans did, so yeah, it's really interesting. I loved it. I really loved this kind of adventure. Yeah. Is a, no, uh, how can you say? A personage, <laughs> the character of Rome. You have yes. to yeah. <laughs> tell everyone what's uh, another this man. reason why to visit this city. <laughs> yes. So basically, tell me who this person is. No, this is a this is a random person, but no, he's very famous because usually it's uh, very <laughs> common to see him around the city cycling with this kid. With this cat, cat yeah. yeah, on his shoulder, <laughs> it's very really funny. If I could go cycling with Dali, my cat here, <laughs> I would be so happy. I would be the happiest woman on earth. But you know what reality is, Amore? If I had Dali here, he would be like. Aah! You're very happy. Tell me why. Because <laughs> <laughs> I ordered my Italian wine. <laughs> Stronzo. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. Finally, tell me. Finally, finally, we get here. Finally, where is the road? Where is the road? Yeah, guys. Today we forgot the microphone. Okay, anyway, but we don't care. Yeah, we don't care. We get here in this yeah. place. It's a few meters from the Vatican. Yeah, super close. And this place is so, um, we love this place in particular because they bring to you this kind of focaccia. This kind of bread. It's like a pita bread, no? It's like a pita yeah. bread. And it's filled with magic. <laughs> it's a kind of magic. Yeah. Salad with, uh, okay, in this case I picked a uh, Greek salad. Yeah. And uh, as you can see, come here. Yeah, here. <laughs> it's um, uh, stuffed with feta, yeah. feta cheese, uh, walnuts, onions, um, dark olives uh, and cherry tomatoes mm. and, and salad the and the, yeah and salad the. love this and wow. for Aurora yeah for me we get, uh, I ordered turkey salad okay with uh, grilled toasted turkey. bread grilled turkey 
cherry tomatoes, yeah. and what else? Mm, I can find arugula. 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 Yeah. So guys. And that is the, yeah. the nice thing is that is uh, you know, when you are enjoying your salad, you even cut yeah, the slices of this kind of pita yeah. and you enjoy it with the salad at the same time. I love this. That is amazing. That's what I love the most about here because you can really like do this thing. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Just like that, no? And keep eating. It's really nice. I love it. Mm. I know, obviously. Oh, <laughs> obviously. Yes, Where in Italy and wine cannot be missed. So, yeah, we ordered the uh, Chardonnay Amore. What is this? No. It's Pino Grigio. Pino Grigio. Mm. So, yeah. Provecho, Amore. Eccola. <laughs> Provecho. Provecho.